My name is Carola, and I'm biking around Europe for one year with the goal of visiting Christians from different backgrounds, as I believe that we are all one connected family. After eight months of traveling, I made it to the UK, and in my last video, I shared my visit of York, where I was now packing up my bike again. Shortly after I started biking, I found my first obstacle, so for the first of five times that day, I had to take off my bags. As you can see, the path wasn't ideal for biking, so it's no surprise that my wheels made a weird sound. And one lesson I learned is never to ignore a weird sound. So I used this yogurt spoon to get rid of some mud, and it actually worked, which I'm not gonna lie, felt really good. So a couple of obstacles and taking my bags off later, I finally made it to Leeds, where I stayed in an Airbnb and fell into my bed. So it looks like I pushed myself too far. I didn't take a day off for two weeks. And then when I took a day off, I got really sick right away. So I was able to stay in the Airbnb where I am right now for another night and take a train then tomorrow to Sheffield. But I just went down to check out the train station for tomorrow, if it's gonna be okay with a bike. And went to the grocery store and it all looks good, but that already, it was like 30 minute walk, exhausted me. So I really hope that tomorrow I'm gonna feel better. The next morning, I got a really sweet goodbye and went to the train station. Taking a train with my fully packed bike always makes me nervous because I'm dependent on people helping me get everything on the train while it stops. But it also always shows me how kind strangers can be. Tonight I'm staying with Amy, who I met in a church in Cork. She has since moved to England, Sheffield, where I am today, and I can't wait to see her again. Amy was so kind to host me in her beautiful home, and it felt really special to be able to catch up with someone who already knew me. On our way to church! <laughs> Together we visited the Christchurch Central, which I was surprised to find out is an Anglican church. After the service, Pastor Tim was nice to tell me more about the church. Uh, one of the things about Anglican churches is, is they're predominantly renowned for being Episcopal, that is they have bishops. Uh, they also have a formal liturgy, um, so for their Sunday services they'll use set prayers and those kind of things have often what people have in their minds when they are thinking of an Anglican church. But one of the most significant things about our church, and we have it written on the front of our building, is that we want to be a church for people who don't go to church. And that's very much at the very heart, or one of the most significant things, at the heart of being an Anglican. But what it means, it goes back to one of the founders of the Church of England, Anglicanism, a guy called Thomas Cranmer, who is the Archbishop of Canterbury. And he had a passion in a heart back in the 16th century that the people of this country came to know Jesus and were able to pray to the Lord and understand the gospel in their own language, rather than in Latin, which is what most churches did back in those days. After the service, Amy made some very tasty food and I got to meet more people from the church, share some of my stories from the trip, as well as getting to know them more. And honestly, it's moments like this that make me remember why I'm doing all of this. Even with the bad weather, feeling sick, and so often being frustrated with the challenges that this project brings. I get to meet Christians in so many different places, and there's always this instant connection. But how can we feel this and root for each other when we don't know anything about Christianity, for example, in Anglican churches in the UK? I believe it's really important to pray for each other, so I asked Pastor Tim how we can pray for Christ Church Central. Well, you can pray for us because um, Sheffield is uh, self-declared as a city of asylum or a city of sanctuary that is welcoming people from other parts of the world who are looking for asylum in the UK, uh, looking for refugee status. And here in Sheffield City Centre, in our church, 
We've got people from all around the world who've come to join us. And uh, if you're going to pray anything for us, pray that we are a loving, kind, welcoming, gracious family to people who've been displaced so far away from their own countries, from their culture, from their own families, that we would be family to them. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to follow my journey, and as always, I'm really grateful if you could like this video and let me know in the comments what you think of it. I publish videos every Thursday, so I will see you next Thursday.